Let's kill an elk, please. Oh, that changed. We move spots, we're here, we're gonna find some elk. If we don't see an elk, it'll be a real shocker. That's a good shirt. We picked elk up right away. I'm just a big, mature boy. Morning, folks. We needed a change of pace this morning, going back to one of the things we love to do. Actually, it's our, our most successful way of finding elk and getting close to them. That's glassing. So we're driving out to uh, Vantage this morning. And we brought breakfast with us. We have our first round of coffee. Oh, that changed. Oh. Well, uh, Hopefully make it happen today. It's been a grind. We have three days left, including today, till the end of the season. Oh yeah, the weather shifted last night. It's gonna be colder today. It'll be interesting to see how it shapes up. And then it still should, and then <laughs> too much talk. Coffee. <laughs> Alicia spotted some elk, and they're very gettable. Yeah, it's so hard to see the wind. This is so unstable. I need them to like walk in front of something mm -hmm. a little darker when it's not blowing. Mm -hmm. and the cows are gone. Looks like he's about to go into the trees here. Mm -hmm. Are they going over to the left? To the right. To the right? Yeah. All right, we're about halfway up to where the elk went into the trees. Let's kill an elk, please. <laughs> Um, forgot to tell you, our good microphone broke the other day, and that has our mixer that allows us to run a lavalier mic. Thankfully, we did have a backup microphone. Uh, we just bought that too, not very long ago. So, we're making do. I hope it's coming out okay. But we're gonna crest this ridge, and we'll be right across the draw from where the elk went into the trees. seems pointless. We're getting back out of here. This is a deadfall zone. <laughs> I don't want to be in it right now. As you can tell, the wind is terrible. But since we got in here, it's just been gusting every which way. Uh, seems fruitless to stomp around the woods here. And we'll just kind of butt and huck around and uh, work our way back to the truck and regroup. We move spots, we're here, we're gonna find some elk. Uh, we're not seeing anything. If we don't see an elk, it'll be a real shocker. down to the truck and she spotted two elk. We think one of them's a bull, but it's just too dark to tell. But we are about to get skunked tonight until the last 10 minutes of glass and light. She spotted that up.
Well, we picked elk up right away before even sitting down. Um, right where Alicia spotted them last night. There's at least four. I haven't seen the heads on all of them yet, and I haven't confirmed a bull, but it's a good sign. He's spotted another group of elk over behind us, probably about 800 yards, and there's a nice um, small six, five by six maybe, with a herd of about four or five cows. So we have something to go after. We're going to keep an eye on them. Just watching, watching elk, which is nice. The sun's already hitting those hills. We know the wind's not gonna be good, so we're just waiting to see where they land. I'll call him a small six. He's a really nice bull. It's just that his six points are small. He's over here, and then we've got a six by seven over here. That's just a big, mature bull. That being said, um, the small six seems to be in a more um, killable position. So I think that's the one we're gonna go after. I don't really care. I would be thrilled to death to kill this small six today. Well, this herd with the six by seven has been in the trees for an hour and a half probably. This other one just won't settle down and we really wanna, wanna know where they're at if we can. Um, but we're just gonna take another five minutes or so, make sure and then we've got a route planned um, to get up there. And our plan is to just, just cow call locate. And then we'll figure out if we can sneak in based on how quiet the forest is. Well, we've taken probably too long <laughs> to get our shit together. But it's together. And we're gonna go make it happen. Started with some soft cow calls, no answer. Soft bugle, no answer. And then we just started moving closer, making racket, cow calling every once in a while, a few bugles and chuckles, no answers. So we sat down for 20 minutes, no answer. We just stood up, no answer. We're gonna hike more and try and get an answer.
since the last day of the season. We drove to get here. Whatever, let's go. We got out where we thought the bull would be, which is in the general area. The elk were hanging out on Sunday. If you haven't seen that video, you can check it out up here. Anyways, we got up here and just didn't hear or see anything on the way. We've been standing here listening for a little bit and heard a bugle, a couple bugles and a chuckle. The wind's not great. We're gonna kind of hook around where we can keep the wind in our favor and get a little closer and listen. Try and get a better locator on it. It's over, folks. Could never locate that bull again, or any other elk for that matter. So, time for us to break camp. I don't know, a lot of, a lot of thoughts and emotions. Don't really know what to think. Thank you guys so much for watching. It sucks to not be successful in terms of punching a tag. And yes, 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 yes. The experiences are amazing. They are absolutely worth it. I am not completely satisfied unless I fill my tag. It's elk hunting, it's a bitch. We had some amazing moments we're gonna talk about for the rest of the year while we eat beef and chicken. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. See you on the next one. <laughs>